Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome. So glad that y'all all could join us tonight. Um, and so excited to be able to introduce one of my dear friends, Becky. Um, she is a mama of three boys and they live in Nebraska. Um, and Hershey, Nebraska, right? Yep. Okay. Am I delayed? Is my internet like a little bit? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, anyways, she's from Nebraska. She is a silver ambassador here at Q Sciences. One of my amazing sideline sisters, love her, her dearly. Um, she is a phenomenal leader and mentor to her friends, or her friends, oh my gosh. See, that's why I'm so out of it, y'all, to her team. Um, and I am friends too. We're good. so happy to pass this along to her because y'all definitely do not want me training you tonight. Um, she is going to be sharing about our community with you um, and why it's so important to establish such a strong bond and a close tight group um, community. So many people are looking for that, especially nowadays. And I feel like even as we get older, I know that I, you know, you have your friends from high school and college and whatever else, but you go through different seasons of life and you're looking for other individuals who are going to lift you up and build you up. Um, and that's what we do here. So Becky is going to talk more about that. And if after she finishes, if y'all will please stay on we are going to do a 30 minute power hour. I will be leading it. Hope I swear to y'all, I will be totally more, a little bit focused. Um, but Becky, thank you again. Um, and I'm going to turn it over to you. Awesome. Will you make me co-host and I'll share my screen? Yes. Perfect. It keeps muting me. There we go. Okay, let's see. Did you make me host? Yep. Okay, perfect. I think I got it here. Let's make sure I got the right one. Okay, can you all see my screen? Did it let me share my screen? Okay, awesome. All right. Well, I am like, I'm a visual person. So I kind of made some quick sl slides just to stay also on task. Because for those who know me, I can be the queen of squirrel. So, um, so I am just super, super excited to be on here with you guys tonight. Um, as Katie mentioned, you know, we have the biggest thing is the community and the friendships um, that we have connected, um, you know, and making that community that, you know, that we can be there for each other outside even of Q, um, you know, the relationship aspect, the team building, all those good things. And so the power of community and what that means even for your business. So I'm gonna to touch on several different things that um, we're excited to, to pull together our teams within, you know, um, Katie leading, myself, Kalina, um, all of you that we value, you guys all as leaders, um, you know, and the skill sets that everybody brings um, because you all make us a better versions of ourselves. Um, I always say all the time, like this literally is a personal growth journey um, with the compensation plan and being able to help people in their health, all areas of those five Fs. And so we've all missed kind of this whole community of bringing our teams together, our different sidelines, um, because there's so many things that everybody has to value to each other. And so we wanted to kind of talk about these team calls that, you know, we have access to so many different mentors out there, but we're excited to, you know, especially going into summer schools, we going to be getting out for many areas is just to kind of have some consistency amongst all of us. Um, and so, you know, like on Monday nights, if you guys are in Marielle's millionaire mentor, um, Facebook group, she's been doing lives or having different people go live, um, at seven 30 central time in that group with just great tips. Um, last night, I love listening to her just talking about the vision and like your rank does not define you, um, by any means. And a lot of times we can get in this comparison mode of like, well, what are we doing wrong? What should we be doing? And it just is staying consistent and showing up for yourselves and what your vision is for you, for your family, um, and continue to help people do that. And then in the movement with T Fran and Tara, they have Monday night, a lot of the advisory council has been doing 830 team calls, but us as a team, 
team with Katie, Kalina, myself, all of you guys here, we've decided that at least going through the summer, we can always change this, that every Tuesday night at eight o'clock central time, we want to do a team call. And these team calls are not just us. Like we have so many amazing, incredible leaders on this team, no matter if you've been here for a day or for three years that have so much value to bring to people and not just about Q, about life, about vision, about faith, whatever those areas are, that we also want these calls to be for you guys. Like what is going to motivate you guys to get on and to get your teams on? Like, what do you want to hear about, learn about, grow with each other? Whether it's, you know, I know some people do book studies, they do, you know, all these different things. And that's really what we want this to be a collaborative effort with everybody, because we, there's so many things that whether it's social media or reaching out or all the different things that we have within our own team that we want to spotlight. And so it's not just going to be always us talking because there's so many incredible leaders on here that even if it's co-hosting different things. So tonight I'm kind of talking about that, co that community, that culture we want to build within ourselves. Um, and then you can mark your calendars for next Tuesday. Tara Truax is going to be doing the call at eight o'clock, same Zoom ID that you guys are on right now really talking about the root of your business and bringing some leadership to us um, next Tuesday. Um, so, you know, we want to hear from you guys, you know, send to Katie, Kleena, myself, you know, different things that you're hearing from your teams. Like, what are they wanting? What are they, what motivates them that we can bring things that we don't want this to be like 30 minutes of people going, oh, I have a call at eight. Like we want people to come and be a part of this and grow together. Um, that's what fuels I know for myself is being just even on here and seeing your guys' faces gets me all excited. Um, and then, you know, the owner's tours. So we are spread out everywhere. And so as you guys have seen these different owner's tours um, coming up tomorrow, they will be in Orlando. And then, you know, Nashville, New Orleans, Sacramento, Phoenix, Dallas, you know, and so on and so forth, that you can get these $10 virtual tickets. You know, somebody asked, I think like, well, is there going to be access to them if I can't be on right then and there for the virtual? Yes. It's, you know, typically they've been in a lot in a Facebook group live. So you can go back and you're always going to have access to that to go back and watch those different trainings. But then they are going, Jake mentioned that there will be promos and they will be different promos that will stack from, you know, event to event of these different events. And so I know at the in-person events, if you attend one in person, because I know there's some of you, you know, close to Nashville, to Dallas, some that are going to Orlando, like they have done where you can get half off your convention ticket. Um, and we'll be talking, you know, and we'll be talking about convention in a little bit. So those are all in your back office to get the virtual tickets. Um you know, and have access to those promotions. Sometimes they've been, you know, free enrollment for new ambassadors. I have no idea, you know, what's to come after that. And as Katie mentioned, we are going to be doing these power half hours. We want to try to keep them short and simple. You know, sometimes we call them power hours. You can obviously always stay, you know, continue to work for an hour, but I know I need these because yes, we can all go do them on our own time, but sometimes I like being on and just hearing from other people. You can bounce ideas like, Hey, I got this message. How would I respond to that? Or, Hey, I've got this person I want to reach out to. How could I start this conversation? Like, we can be on there to help do that. And so there's going to be, Katie's going to lead the one tonight right after this at 830. And then Kalina's going to lead the one tomorrow at noon central time. And that will be on Kalina's Zoom ID. So just make note of the different Zoom ID for the power half hour um, for this week. But I know there's incredible leaders throughout our organizations that do power hours themselves. Um, and if you're doing them and you can host one and you're going to be on there anyway, you can, we can give you our logins to our Zooms, you know, to where they can go longer, um, where you can lead the power hours. It doesn't have to be us. And we strictly, you guys follow like the IPA sheets. If you've never been on a power hour, it's, you know, 
it's at the beginning, you're wishing people happy birthday. Maybe you're connecting and commenting on Instagram or Facebook. You're adding new friends that maybe you've met at the supermarket or at a, you know, a kid's sporting event, whatever it is. Cause I know baseball's in full swing, you know, so many connect connections I've met through track this year with both kids being in track. I'm building those relationships and connecting with those moms on Facebook and then as you may build and make those connections, you can have those conversations that come up. And so we, if you would love to host one, um, we would really like to have two to four of them each week, but we would like to have it for maybe some in the mornings, some in the afternoons, some in the evenings, just because we know everybody has different schedules. Um, and so if you would love to help us with those power half hours, please let us know. Um, and what we're going to try to do is, you know, let everybody know by each Sunday, like what are the ha power half hours for the week? Um, you know, we'll have our team call and then any QIQ type overview calls um, that will be coming up for the week. So this week, um, Kristen Wyatt is going to be hosting the overview call for the opportunity talking about alignment um, on, and note the time it is at seven o'clock central time, Thursday night. Um, and so like, this is the event that I have been plugging people into people that have commented on my posts, people I've been talking to, maybe that I wasn't able to connect with. They couldn't get on a call before I'm, you know, inviting them to listen, you know, to come and listen to what we're doing, um, and edifying, you know, Kristen, she's also a wife. She's a boy mom like myself. Um, if you guys don't know Kristen, she is hilarious. Um, and so I am plugging people into her call for Thursday night. Um, and then same thing. I have been on many calls throughout our organizations with amazing leaders presenting. Um, and again, you don't have to be at a certain rank to present. You could be brand new. I was brand new when Jake threw me into doing a presentation. I had no idea what I was doing, but their slides will help you. Or if you want to co-host with one of us, we can help co-host, um, open, helping, you know, opening or closing, whichever piece, even if it's just, you want to do a couple slides to get comfortable with presenting with those, we want to empower you guys to do this. You do not have to be a public speaker. I am not a public speaker, but you can talk to people just as if you were having a conversation. I personally turn off a camera so nobody else sees, except all I'm looking at is kind of myself as if I'm talking to myself, because otherwise I would be sweating and stumbling all over the mess. Um, and if you do, that's okay, because really nobody remembers what you say. It's how you make them feel like, do you speak to something that they need? Are they looking for a community right now? Are they looking for extra income, which I feel like everybody is with the gas prices and the food prices and everything else that's going up that extra couple hundred dollars a month, you guys right now, even if it's 50 bucks a month can make all the difference for people. And so one of the things that I really hit home for me the other last night, listening to Marielle was she was talking about like, why do we talk sometimes like people will be like, well, you know, I had my grandma and my, my, my aunt Susie on, like, they're really not going to care about the business. Just talk about the products. Well, she had such a great point that maybe the business is not for them, but maybe they talk to somebody and they hear somebody saying that they're looking for X, Y, Z, they could be the ones connecting them to you saying, gosh, you know what? This girl talked about an incredible opportunity that I really think you should go hear about. Maybe this is something. So it's being that connector piece, like they might not need it, but who's the person that may need it that they know. So it's who do, who needs to meet you. And so I love that perspective to kind of keep that in mind that even though, you know, people are like, oh, just talk more about the products. The whole reason why we do all of it is because they, there might be someone they know or someone they don't know yet, because it's all about that timing as, as, aspect. But those of you who don't know my story, Kalina messaged me for an entire year, probably over 50 to 60 messages, not joking. I was not, not very nice to her. <laughs> I kind of ghosted her a few times. But the timing was not right for me and my family to even take a look at what Q was. I'd seen the buzz. I had been following her post. Yeah, my interest was peaked, but the timing was not there. And so like Brittany Hitch mentioned, are you being consistent? Like, are you constantly, it doesn't have to be 20 times a day, 
but are you putting in on your social media? Are you talking to people? Even it's putting in a story of you taking your products, posting something about the business, sharing other people's stories, because maybe the timing is not right. But what if Kalina had kind of stopped posting and then the timing was right for me? I could have probably went and joined someone else because my timing was a year after she talked to me. So is your business, are your doors constantly going to be open? Brittany used the coffee shop analogy. If you open a coffee shop, you don't open it for like 30, 60, 90 days and then close your doors. Somebody might not want coffee today. Or Marielle talked about being a gym owner or hairstylist. Clients are going to come and go, but you might have that next person that comes through your, through your business that needs you to be there. So are you constantly, you know, are you being consistent and showing up for yourself, for your business, letting people know what you're doing? And I feel that that's so huge. And I have learned from so many of these people because you guys, before this industry, I never posted on social media. I maybe had 300 Facebook friends. I have constantly had to learn to grow that aspect by following other people following people like Katie, following people like Kalina. We have Melissa Collins on here. She is the queen of stories and telling her she's the best storyteller that, you know, she's constantly just being real and authentic and telling her story, like learning those different things as a community that there's so many things that I've learned from all of you over this past two year journey, um, and became a better person person because of it. And I thank all of you guys for showing up and for being who you are, um, because that's really what motivates me to keep doing what we're doing and the stories that we hear from you and from your customers and from your ambassador it just constantly brings that culture and community. So that leads us into convention. Um, if you're new or maybe not new, I know many of you have been to a convention before. Our next convention's coming up August 24th through the 27th. Um, it actually is like that Friday, Saturday, some bronze Academy is on Thursday. Um, but the tickets are in our back office right now. And I know, like I mentioned the half price off that, but I was talking to Katie and Kleena last night for those on my team that went with us last year, you know, we piled into a, ho a hotel place that really had what three queen beds and a sofa bed. And it was like from Wednesday night through Sunday night was just a little over a hundred dollars. And then we got our own food and things like that. So I have called that same hotel. Um, they're going to get back to me tomorrow. I was hoping to have a rate today, but they're going to get back to me about doing like a block rate for our team. And so that we can all be in the same place. It was super awesome. They're like two bedroom suites with two bathrooms and a full kitchen. Um, it was pretty awesome. We had a blast. Um, and so they're going to get back with me and it's like walking distance to that area. Um, if you don't have your convention ticket, if you haven't booked your flight yet, we were kind of talking about flights like for us in the Nebraska area or flying out of Denver, the tickets are less than $200 right now. I know for some areas they are more, um, but we want to try to minimize that cost for people by, you know, getting our rooms together. We all got food ahead of time so that we weren't buying food there. Um, and of course, we always try to do like a team meal with everybody. Um, but if you know for sure you're not going to be able to go to convention, we really want to encourage people to do like a team watch party for your team in your area. Um, and so we, there's not virtual tickets in the back office yet, but every convention we've had, um, they've always had the virtual ticket option. And so like, I wasn't going, you could, I mean, like we said, you could even rent like a hotel room, probably for like a hundred bucks and go watch it in a hotel room, get a bunch of munchies, veggies, veg out, get away from your homes and your family. If you have kiddos for a while and get your teams together and do like a virtual watch party. Um, you know, I mean, we were kind of talked about that. Um, as well that, you know, th that would, could be something, you know, that you could do together, you know, in doing that. Um, I'm going to quick check our comments here because I saw some comments in the chat here. So I just want to make sure I don't miss any questions as I'm, before I move through. Um, Olivia talking about same thing. She was not on social media and you guys, <laughs> Olivia, if you haven't met Olivia, you need to go follow her. She has grown 
drastically. She's never done this industry before. She has been doing the shred challenge and she is crushing it, um, but doing amazing at telling her story um, and, and all those good things. So yes, and yes, like Katie said, eating a lot of meals in the room. Um, I know a lot of people got went, got salads, different things like that. So um, we'll keep everybody posted as soon as I get room rates and stuff like that too, that we can start you know, planning that piece of things. And then once a month, um, I know many different um, teams, Kalina's team, Katie's team has been doing like online events in smaller groups. Um, and we did one here last month, but once a month, we are going to do an online um, event as a team with all of us together. And so this next one, we're gonna start on Wednesday next week. So the group is already set up. Um, Katie can share the link in her ch team chat. Um, and so it's called supplement your life naturally Q. And so there's testimonies already in there that we've had from previous events. Um, but we're going to run it over kind of like Wednesday, Thursday, and kind of wrap it up on Friday. So that way it kind of leads into closing month end it closes that Friday before month end. So we do, you know, payday Friday, but the key that takes it to be successful is with engagement, engagement on the posts you know, whether it's like, so if the product is posted, telling your story with it versus just saying, oh, I love the Vitalize. It's awesome. Okay. Well, what has Vitalize done for you? Like what has the hemp done for you? What has a certain product helped you with, um, that is different from when you weren't taking it, or if you stopped taking it kind of, you know, how do you feel differently? Um, we'll have some giveaways in there. Typically we've been doing about four product giveaways. Um, and then the other key is making sure that you're inviting people in a message like, Hey, we are so excited. I know that I've talked to you about Q in the past, or you have had some interest. We're going to do an online event starting on Wednesday for two days, you know? And so if they're like, Oh, I'm super busy. Great. Turn your notifications on. You can check back, um, whatever they need to do there. Um, before just adding them, because what happens is you can invite a hundred people in there, but you guys, if they don't accept the invite, they sit out there as kind of a pending invite and they don't see the notifications anyway. So typically what I do is I don't personally add the person to the group. I will send them a message inviting him. And when they say, yes, please invite me. I send them a message that says, great. I'm so excited for you to hear more. You know, I just know that I, you know, these products have totally helped us so much. I can't wait for you to learn more. Um, click on this link and request to be added to this page and get your notifications turned on. And so I make them click on the link and request to be added. So I know that they've actually done it. Um, and that you see them then in the group versus just adding them. And then they might forget to go, you know, add the thing. If you uh, yourself or someone on your team has an incredible testimony that wants to be spotlighted, please send kind of a typed out testimony. Please try to be as compliant as possible. Explain like, how did you feel before Q? What's, what's life look like differently? Is, you can eat different things now. You can, maybe you've lost weight, whatever it is. Send a picture that you want um, along with kind of a typed out testimony to Kalina um, and try to get those sooner than later. Even if 10 of you send it, great. We'll get them plugged in there because we can even start adding some more testimonies in there leading up to the event that's gonna start on Wednesday. Um, Let's see, let's see, any other questions here? Okay, and then I think that's about it. So now I just kind of wanted to open it up for any questions, um, anything anybody wanted to add over any, you know, anything about the team calls, the QIQs, anything like that that anybody has questions on. I have a question about convention. Huh? Are you guys driving? Probably, yes. My guess is that we will car, you know, last time we um, flew out of Denver that direction. I know there's some people, though, that have even talked about just driving out. Depending on what fuel prices are, I know I can't drive there for two hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, I meant to sure. say, um, like driving to Denver. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
No, that's what I was saying. But there are some people that talked about just driving directly to Salt Lake too. But, you mm -hmm. know, for our area, just, just fly to Denver being less than $200, I will probably be booking a flight. So Okay, yeah, because I was yep. thinking about driving and then I was like, I don't know, flying was kind of cool. <laughs> okay, awesome. Okay. Katie or Kalina, anything that I missed? Anybody can think of? I cover everything. Oh, that was perfect. The only note I took, you then covered it like two minutes after I wrote it down to say. <laughs> okay. Anything else? I'm pretty proud of myself. I stayed uh, under the 830 mark to kick off the power hour next. So Wait, it goes this <laughs> I have, have slides to keep me on task for I, those that don't know me. <laughs> I'm the same way. And I was super impressed. Okay. But y'all, yeah, I know I see Summer on here. I know she's led some power hours. So and done some Julie you guys, you know, leading any type of overview calls. So if there's a day next week that works, um, let us know and we'll definitely, you know, get that out to everybody. You know, typically we put it either in our team chats or in the events, um, you know, for our teams as well. So 